Well, happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're all well. This sheep has been sheared, and so I haven't broken any rules. I haven't been to the barbers, a secret barbers that has opened up. It is my personal stylist, my wife, who has uh, sheared the sheep, and my son as well, every several weeks. She goes through the pain of tying us down and and making sure that we look presentable. And the link to the sheep is not coincidental either, because a thought I want to share with you is based upon Psalm 23. Now, this psalm, if you're a Christian, you will certainly know the psalm about the Good Shepherd. And if you're not a Christian, you've been in a church service very often, it's read out in memorials or funerals. It's the comforting psalm about uh, Christ being a shepherd to us. And and I want to kind of zoom in on the verse that says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now, there's something that caught my attention, and that is you know, the rod has a role for a shepherd in terms of beating away the wolves beating away anything that would uh, attack the sheep so it's um it's an instrument of protection but the staff of course with the crook on the end is what pulls the sheep out of a hole and and stops it going wayward now if you think about that a a crook going round the neck of a sheep is even though it's an act of protection it's uh, it's painful it's something that uh, it creates a resistance for the sheep, but it's a resistance that's for its benefit, not for its harm. And the fact is that these two instruments, and the staff particularly, is something that comforts. Now, to the sheep in the moment, it doesn't feel comforting. In fact, it feels that resistance, it feels potentially painful, having something around the neck. But it got me thinking that, as I've been particularly thinking about discipline and accountability, you know, discipline can be painful. To discipline ourselves to say no to something, to discipline ourselves to say, even though this hurts, even though this, is, I feel the resistance of, of doing this, um, I, I'm going to embrace that pain. Because I know that by doing that, and here's the key thing here, I'm going to uh, pay dividends in the future. In other words, there's a comfort on the flip side of this pain. If I pay the price now, I get to enjoy the comfort as a result. Maybe not in the moment, but down the line. And, and it got me thinking about discipline, that actually in the discipline, there is a comfort. We don't feel it, but we need to know it. We need to be so aware in the moment when... When, when the discipline requires us to act, to follow through, to, to say no or to say yes, whatever it is that feels resistant, we need to know that actually there's a comfort on the flip side of the pain. And also we need to know that if we don't follow through, if we give up, if we quit on that discipline, in the moment we don't feel the pain, but we need to understand that we may enjoy some indulgent comfort by, by not following through that discipline, but actually there is pain on the flip side. You see, that pain will hurt us, whereas the pain of discipline will change us. And I want to encourage you this weekend, as I will, I often take uh, the opportunity, particularly on a Sunday, to evaluate, you know, what are the things that maybe I need to recognise the comfort in the pain and to remember that and to stay aware of that because and again for me as a as a christian i look at the principles of god's word and 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 sometimes it's challenging to to follow through on those principles but there is a comfort in the discipline there's a comfort in the pain and uh, i really want to encourage you let's be a champion let's let's embrace the pain that changes us and so if I can do anything along the way to encourage you and to help you, then, then let me know and uh, have a great weekend.